Hey guys, welcome to the comic review table talking about Ghost Spider number one, the new Spider One book, where it's now called Ghost Spider, because that's what her new name is. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that being the idea, the change, because I'm like, yeah, because you can't really call a Spider One that kind of gives someone a secret identity, I guess. But for the other books, that was kind of what she was known as, because he didn't really have a name. You call the Spider Woman, but you can't really call that when you have Jessica Drew Spider Woman, so it's like, yeah. I mean, it is part of the universe, but just can you confusing, I understand that. So let's jump into issue one. Technically, it also has the likely number on it, so there's also issue you could also call it 51. Well, like, that's cool. Like, I like how they keep continuing the likely number and stuff. I think they should just do that for comics in general if they're continuing off of a series. So then it's like, this is this part of this entire run. Because it makes it feel like this is, like, its own series, but also makes it feel like it's continuing from the bigger, like, as a whole, the book. It does feel like it's continuing from the last issue. Just to jump into it. Start off with in one Spider Gwen's Earth, what is does it say? Home of the Haunting Spider Ghost. Yeah, Earth uh I think it's sixty sixty two? I think it's sixty two. It's a little I think that's that's sixty two, right? Sixty two, I think it's sixty two. That would look like sixty two, it's not eighty two. But he says that's sixty two. And so uh, Gwen Stacy talking about so with a band, he's talking about what's going on, like I'm gonna go to school, da 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 Kinda telling them that the only one going to the universe because they all know about her being Spider Gwen, and everybody knows she's Spider Gwen. Like we go to this other Earth and uh, and be like a if I go to school here, nobody knows I'm Spider Gwen. I don't have to worry about that. They're going to school and everybody knowing I'm Spider Gwen, people could attack me. There's a lot of things about it. That actually makes sense, and I kind of like the idea of that. But I'm, to me, I'm like one of the first things I was thinking. Like, okay, you go to school in all universe, that's fine, but you find different universe. How does that work? Because you can't just. What about all your credentials and all your stuff? Like, you're from a different earth. It doesn't really... I don't know if they will cancel the same. But then... So he goes off and cry to the... We will find out. I'll, we'll explain how that... How, they do explain how that works. And I'm like, oh. That kind of makes... I kind of like that. But she goes off. Uh, she gets the and leaves. So she's... I wouldn't say she's out of the band. But she's not completely uh, going to be in it full time. She's out. She goes to their earth. Because she can still transport from one earth to another. She has a device. She can do that. But I think it's cool. She goes to the US and then she goes to the uh, um, Empire State University where she's going. And it's now, now for the fact that she's in the main Marvel Universe with Spider-Man, all the main characters, all the only books you're reading. Yep, she's in the main Marvel Universe now. It's, it's cool that she's kind of in it like kind of permanently. Not completely, like she does go back to her world as well. Where I thought where it's like, whole world had interesting characters, but there is a point where it's like, I'm not against it. Because she still is part of whole world, it's like a little both. And it's a good, a cool idea. To see you interact with like the real Marvel Universe, other than just the spider characters, it'd be cool to see that. Other characters than just the spider characters, that'd be cool. Then we see her, she talked to Peter Parker, Peter Parker got her to, um, a, obviously got her into the school because he walks there and stuff. And also Dr. Connor has helped and stuff, who if you don't know is a lizard and he's kind of like a good guy now, so that's kind of nice. And then we have to, um, they go to the principal, they talk about like, um, like, okay, um, you can't afford, yeah I know, da da da, Mr. Stark has a saying. Tony, okay, okay, I, I'm gonna read this because this establishes how kind of, like how he, even though it's from a different universe, how this all works. Tony Stark established a scholarship program for aliens, dimensional travelers, clones, independent machine intelligence, and other students outside the norm some time ago. You absolutely qualify. I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool that Tony Stark did that, and I don't know if that's ever been referenced in anything else, but I'm like, that's cool, so we could have, like, aliens and all kinds of stuff as a saying, I'm like, that's kind of nice, but he's nice about that, like, he's like, yeah, I, no, not everybody's evil, there's different dimensions, there's re I don't know why people from this dimension are really cool, but he does have, I like how he had it set up just in case, like, stuff like that happened, I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool, that Tony talks all about that, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of me really like that, uh, of course, I do, it's like, okay, here's all the confidentials, everything I need, da da da, we appreciate your time, and then, they, then it cuts back to us, uh, 62, with those, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, look, Gwen's dad, he's in the precinct, so he opens up his door to his room, and there's a big spike party, what he didn't want, and like, I didn't want this big spike party. And then he's like, keep me Captain Daisy. Then we have Mr. J.J. Jameson comes up, he's like, hey, I need, I want my son, is, because he's a giant, if you don't know, his son was a giant, like, Werewolf kind of thing because the movie's like he's not well, he's not, he's having episodes, he's not well. Like, he tried to get my daughter. I'm like, Yeah, well, you visit, he's like, You gotta do what we say, or you gotta release him to us to do what we say, or you have to do what we say, or have your badge and pre saying. Like, okay, 
Jerry Joe Jameson, you don't want to look at, I don't know, it's his son, so I can't really go into and be like, yeah, it's his son, and there's probably reasons, but it's like, I think this thing, you gotta, I'm kinda, I don't know if Jameson is on the good side or bad side, it's in this, it's weird, if he's a good guy or bad, I think he's in like neutral, I would say right now, cause I'm like, you've done some stuff where I'm like, yeah, you're not bad, but I don't think you're good either, it's like, you're in the middle right now for me, especially with this, but I know he's your son, and, you, and I think you did stuff like this maybe in the main universe, and you find out your son was saying, because he's not really that bad, but yeah, that's interesting, so he's kind of forcing him, like, you gotta do what I say. And obviously, Gwen Stacy doesn't like that, Gwen Stacy's dad does not like that, because of all the shit he's done, so yeah. Then we come back to S616, and now I know there's a 6, because I know S1 is 616, so the other one is 62. Great. Um, I'm looking at this one, it says S616, I'm like, oh yeah, 616, because that's the main one, you know, so I'm like, oh! The same one looked like the same as the other one, so the other one is 62, okay? But this does them, um, and they're flying, uh, flinging through the city, Spider-Man and Spider-Gwen, to get, like, a little fuss there, talk about stuff, about how this is all gonna work and everything. And then we see, like, they're looking for danger to get spice things on top. We have a giant rat, attacking, uh, two, uh, a mom and looks like her son, in a back alley, where I'm like, why are people always in these back alleys? Like, that's the one thing I always wonder. Why are people in these back alleys? Now, they could've chased them from the street into the back alley, but I'm always, that's one thing I always, I'm like, why are people always getting mugged in alleys and all stuff? Like, don't go in the alleys. That's the number one of casino. You don't go in the alleys. That's uh, that's where you get mugged, attack, villains attack you. Well, the case would be, they just take the giant rat and they swap him up to the wall. That takes care of him, and they get all the stuff done. And they're like, "Who are you? What's the deal? What's your costume?" He thought it was a monster costume about how it's made of actual spiders. I'm like, yeah, what's your name? Ghost Spider. So it's like, thanks for saving us. So it's like, yeah, maybe don't lead with the ghost spiders, with the spiders, the costume made spider thing. That's kind of creepy to some people. Like, yeah, probably it is. But then they go off to their own, back to school. And then they got everything knocked up, the courses, everything set up. So she's set up and ready to go to school. She leaves to go, I think, tell her dad or something. Or uh, leave to go tell her dad. And he bumps into somebody. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. wasn't watching where it's going. She said, are you all right? She's like, perfectly fine. Da, da, da. And then we come back to Earth. And then we don't know this guy. And then first thing, we don't know who he is. But then we figure out who he is. Then we cut to Earth 62. Home of another Miles Warner. Because the guy he just ran into was Miles Warner. And if you don't know anything about that, he is technically the Jackal. And that's kind of scary. I'm like, oh, shit, we're going to have Jackal shit. But it makes sense because we're doing it with Gwen Stacy. And her being in the main one, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't the case. Uh, but then we have, uh, on Earth 62, who actually we have Maya Warner, and she has a spider stuff, and he's like, oh, and we like to see the jackal stuff, I'm like, oh, okay, we're gonna jackal stuff to look like, fine with that, we just gotta be, be careful with the jackal stuff, because if anyone knows, the clone saga has taught us anything, or the jackal taught us anything, the jackal doesn't have the best to crack run with stories, but this is spider Gwen, so I think we're gonna have at least a somewhat decent story, even with the character, especially if the one from Horus, not Horus, from the main sick one sick universe, if yeah. Jackal, Grand Tasty, all that doesn't go good. And usually he's in not the best of stories anyway. So yeah. I just said the next issue is issue two and I like the cover where it shows everybody, so it's like it looks like we see like it looks like we see Mary Jane from her universe, Spider Man, Peter Parker, Miles Morales, the Jackal, is her dad, and Spider Woman, like everybody. I'm like, okay, cool, we just a little bit of, I don't know if they're all gonna be in it, but they're on the cover and it looks actually nice. So um pretty cool. Uh, what do I, now that the book is over, what do I give, what do I run my thoughts on the book? I like there's a new starting off point for, if you want to read spider Gwen, this is not, not bad for a first issue, it's kind of like setting up, but it's also like, you have read the last little run, right, the last 10 issue run that we did. Yeah, did you read that? Yeah. Okay, well this is continuing off of that. It feels like it's continuing straight off that, and not like yeah, it's continuing it into, like, it's a new book, it's not, it feels like it's, like, the last issue, you read an issue 10 of that, and then you jump to this one, it feels like issue 11, like, it, it feels like there wasn't even a gap, one of those, it's weird when series end, when you see it's like, this series 10 issues, and then we do a new number one, and it feels like it's the next issue, like, the next issue, like, it feels like this is issue 11, not issue number one of a new book, but, I understand the idea of changing it to Ghost Spider, I think that makes sense, at least that regard, of the, uh, the last issue, I think the last book kind of finished the spider one thing off, and now it's going to be called Ghost Spider, well, I'm fine with that being the book, I think that's a great idea for the book, I didn't think you need to rename, you could have just renamed it and just kept the numbering or something, I don't know, but still, it doesn't matter, the numbering is not as important as we get another Spider-Man book, and it's good, it's good, 
Um, this is not my favorite. I don't know if this this issue is not bad, but just it's not a lot happening to her. Basically, most of it's her trying to get into school and stuff, so it's not bad, but definitely not a, a lot. Too much happens. That's like holy shit. She's in the Marvel universe now, so that's basically all we gotta say. Uh, the other in the Marvel like sequel to Kingdom Hearts, she's more into that now, so that's nice. So we got Dark Moon and Eight. Eight. That is not that. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't anything like super like I said, it was a lot about her getting into school and stuff was fine, and I enjoyed a lot of this. The banter was her and Spider Man. It was, it was great, it was great, but it gets only an eight. Just, it was a solid book, though. And also, the card's really good, but I think it's weird that it has my from Wireless on it. At least the only one who wasn't in the book, so I'm like, okay, that's kind of funny, but yeah. The now you can see Miles if you wanted to, or go and see uh, Spider Jew, Spider Gwen, and Spider Woman, and all that stuff now. It's a lot more easier, or so, or whatever. So, yeah, so you can go see my other cake. So, we can get some more stuff. I'm excited to see uh, her act interact with, like, other characters from the Marvel Universe, I hope we get some of that, at least some. So yeah, I get a fucking eight, really good book. What did you guys think of the new Spider Ghost book? Let me know in the comments down below, and we can talk about it. So you guys can always stay epic, and I'll see you next video, guys. Bye.